Okay, so today we're gonna to look at building a trial balance from scratch. Now the thing about Zero's trial balance is it's in the old reports. If you don't know what the old reports are, let's just go here, go to all reports, and down here, here's an example of what's new and old. Um, here you can see there's two profit and losses, boom, boom. You can see the tag new over here. Let's jump over to the old profit and loss. And you'll kind of see, no, we don't want to try the new report. This is the layout. You can kind of see the, um, the font size and the sort of the structure of the report. If you take a close look at that, take a bit of a mental snapshot of that, and then we'll jump over to the new profit and loss layout. So we'll go down here to the new one. And you can see completely different layout completely different um, font, etc. Everything looks different. Okay, so to summarize, what's happening is those old type reports will be, shall we call, retired at some point. Okay, in other words, they'll be gone and replaced. Some may not even be replaced at all. Point being is if we go back to the trial balance, which is down here under accounting, trial balance, You can see everything's in the old format, okay, so in the old format, and you can set a date, so if you're doing the trial balance for, but you have to do it um, date wise, you can't just select last financial year or something like that, you've actually got to choose the date. Okay, so there's not a lot to choose from, you can't insert different columns, so there's not a lot you can do. So what we're going to do, and this is for accounting and bookkeeping firms only, is we're going to go up to Zero HQ, and we're going to build one from scratch. All right, let's call this one Trial Balance. Okay, so the key here is to add a blank report. Call it Click out, okay. Now, what I want to do is edit the layout. We are going to insert a schedule, okay. T for text, we don't want that. Schedule, we don't want a footer, we want a schedule. Okay, um, we will go no total, no numbered heading. I'll leave it as debit positive for now. balance. Okay, so the key is over here. We are now going to bring in report codes. Right, stop the clock. Here's what needs to happen. Now you might be in Australia. Now I'm in Australia. Uh, you might be in New Zealand or Canada, South Africa, UK, US, wherever, anywhere, Singapore, any country in the world. You're going to have report codes. Now if you don't know what report codes are, go to our YouTube channel and have a look at what are report codes video. All right, you need to bring in every single report code for revenue, expense, assets, liabilities, and equity. You need to bring them all in. If you miss one, this report will not work because you might not catch every single account in your chart of accounts. So in other words, the report will be useless. All right, so I'm gonna bring in revenue report codes first. Add report code. I'm gonna go REV dot. Now I've gotta be careful not to pick up that because that's an asset report code. So even that one, there we go, revenue. Revenue, revenue, revenue. You can see what I'm doing, catching REV dot, REV dot, REV dot. I've got to catch all of them, can't miss. Okay, that's the game. Miss one and you are screwed. Screwed, screwed, screwed. Revenue, we're gonna group them. And of course, that'll be credit positive. 
Right, so we've got a group of revenue report codes. Back over here, control balance. Go up here, you can go add report codes from here. I'm gonna add exp dot. Expense, 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 expense. Expense, 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 expense. Expense, expense. You get the picture. I wish I could just bulk select them, but I can't. I have to go down all of them. Boom, 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 mm -mm. getting there. Ah, travel, 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 user, deep, find, boom. Oh, yeah, vehicles and very cool losses. And I'm going to group those. And they, of course, will be debit positive. Okay. I might actually drag the revenue group to the top. save that so just go to done because I don't want to lose my work save draft I want preview this for this financial year that we can pull in some data from the demo company all right there we go so I'm pulling in the data for 2018 all right cool now if you want to change a preview don't forget previews over here preview for whatever all right, now I'm gonna go back to edit layout. This time, let's get the assets. A double S. Yep, you read it here, people. Okay, all the assets, current and non-current. Lots of clicking, lots of checking. Got to give them tangibles, probably plant and equipment whole lot. There is quite a few asset report codes. Goodwill. Now for those of you who don't really understand what a report code, oh, nearly caught a revenue one by mistake. That would be disastrous. Lucky I caught that. Now for those of you who don't know what a report code is, report codes replace account code ranges. Think of it that way. Okay, update, group, assets. Debit positive, of course. Okay, next ones are, of course, oops, LIA dot. Okay, there you go. Liabilities, yep. Had plenty of those in my life. There you go. Boom, boom. Tax. Oh, tax. Who wants to pay tax? Why have tax report codes? No one wants to pay tax. Waste of time. Um, beneficiaries, oh, there's plenty of those, especially after you get divorced. Um, keep going. Yeah, click, 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 click. Ah. That would be nice just to be able to select all. That would be nice to be able to. Yeah, you can't automate everything, right? You can't automate everything. I'd like to. Liabilities. Might just do another quick save. Okay, you can see the liabilities pulling in from the demo company there. All looking good. Ooh. Mm. Chartered accounts not set up properly in the demo company. Ring, ring. Okay, I can fix that. And we'll go back to edit layout. Okay, all right, looking good. And you can see it sorts it alphabetically once we hit save. Not that that really matters. Okay, so I want to drag, I'll drag, yep, it's pretty colorful. Drag the assets to the top. Revenue, Oop. Revenue, I'll also drag. So I want to do layout, um, R-E-A-L-E. Yeah, yeah. Um, expenses. All the flashing lights. It's like it's a disco in here. All right, and boom. Okay, so last one, of course, is coming to the top. And EQU, equity. Now, I'm not going to catch that or that or that. Catch that. Equity dot, equity dot, equity dot, equity dot. Always like to hear. Have you got some equity? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, some here. 
Ooh, lucky I don't catch that. Or that. Or that. Okay, so be very, very careful what you're adding here. Very, very careful. Avoid disaster. Just check those. Yep, that's revenue one, revenue expense. You can see it's got equipment in there. EQU, 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 EQU. Yep, all right, good, 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 great, perfect, done. And of course, we'll group those as credit positive. Okay, I want to drag those all the way down. Alright, okay, scroll up to the top. So what we have is we have a schedule here. So just, just to summarize, we've got a schedule here. Um, I've, we don't have these ticks because we don't need them. We need groups. Okay, so all revenue report codes are now captured in here. Now you could go and group these, you know, you've got cash flow hedges or you've got investment income, etc, etc. So you can do extra groups in there if you want, what we call subgroups. Like for example, there's two, um, there's two grants report codes. So you can like do subgroups or gains on disposals, things like that, if you want. That's up to you. I'm not going to, so this video doesn't go for two days, um, and then We'll leave them all as being captured in one group, just this group. Now you can see it's credit positive because it's revenue, okay? So we'll double check our work. Expense needs to be debit positive, yep, so all the expense report codes are in there. Um, assets, yep, debit positive. Um, uh, liabilities, and you can see it's got a total for all these groups too, you need the total. Now we could break assets and liabilities into not, uh, current and non-current if you want, up to you. Um, yeah, okay, oh, and equity needs to be credit positive as well. Okay, all good, all good, good, okay, and done. Uh, save the draft. Right, now, important thing. This, this is a report within a template. Might make this a little easier to understand. I'll we'll change this to a trial balance template. And yeah, that might help. So, we've got one report in a template. See, one report. That's it, we could create some more reports, whatever. So we've got one report in here. Okay. Point being is, I might go set this as a default date range of this month. And today is the 3rd of May, so that's why it's gone to May. So what I've got here now is my column has changed based on the date. Okay, that's fine, because at client level, we can actually change it again. All right, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go over here to edit layout. What I'm going to do, so here, I've got May. Here, I might add year to date as well. YTD. And done. All right, are we ready to use this? Yes, we are. Let's just go ready to use. All right, so we've got our trial balance template. It's now ready to be used across all of our customer base on Zero. So if we go down to client level, and duplicate this tab. What we'll do here, this one I'll update, and then this one will bring in the new template. Advisor, 
because it's a report template. Oh, now it's template. Okay, so the key is is that can you live with the fact that it doesn't split debits and credits? If we go back to the trial balance. You can see it split them, which is fine. You know that's all good. Whatever. At the end of the day, the figures are still the same. Okay, the figures are still the same. The figures are still the same. All right, it's just in one column. Now, I can't split columns by debit and credit. All right, so are you willing to make the trade-off? The thing about this report is you can run comparatives. Back in the old report, there is no option for comparatives. Okay, so if you do need comparatives, month by month comparatives, you can go for it. So if we go back to the template, if I go here, like this is the default layout. If I go up to the top, I go here, add report. If I go trial, trial balance. I'm going to call this one month. Comparatives. And then, edit layout. Get rid of the year to date. Like that month, previous month. Oh, whoops, sorry. Gotta bring in a new column. Where's the date? Like that. Here we go. And then we can run a formula if you want. That minus that. If you want it. Valvarian's problem. Done. Okay, so there's a bit more room to move doing it this way. There's a little bit more room to move. You can get those comparatives happening. Like I said, trade-off is you're going to live with the fact that all debits and credits are in the one column. You can see you've got a credit balance there, a credit balance there, all in the debit section. Remember this group? Debit positive, as you'd imagine, it's expenses, so it must be debit positive. Assets, debit positive, okay? Anyway, that is how to build a very, very basic trial balance. Thanks for tuning in, follow us on YouTube, we've got heaps of videos that can help you out with this type of stuff. Um, if you need any more help, get in touch, donny at entrycounts.com or just go to entrycounts.com and have a look around and leave a message. Have a good day. Cheers.